Good morning. Welcome to Grace Fellowship Bible Church. Before we get started this morning, I'm going to give a very brief salvation message just to make sure that anybody new here understands what we're talking about. When I'm talking about salvation, I'm talking about the freely offered, non-meritorious grace gift that's provided for all humankind and our choice is to either accept or reject it. To accept the grace gift of salvation, all you really have to do is go to God in the privacy of your own soul. You can do it in silence or you can do it out loud, but just tell Him, God, I, I accept the work that Jesus Christ did for me, His life and His work on my behalf for salvation. There's about 37 things that happen when you do that. The big thing that happens is you get the filling of the Holy Spirit. And by this I mean that you now have the capacity to actually intake and learn and store Bible doctrine. God, the Creator, the ultimate power source, respects your free will. Um, that is your freedom of choice. You can choose to accept or reject the Gospel. Uh, however, he does tell us, for example, in uh, 1 Timothy 2, 3 through 4, um, this is honorable and pleasing in the opinion of God, our Savior, who desires all mankind to be saved and come to a full knowledge of the truth. Also, you will notice when the pastor teacher uh, begins class, we will take a few minutes in prayer to make sure everybody is standing on worship ground. To make sure that you're standing on worship ground, it's also uh, very simple. And we actually have a track we're going to be putting on the website, and we'll have uh, PDFs for doctrine for more clarification. But in the most basic sense, all you have to do is go to God the Father and confess any cognizant known sin, and you'll do that under the filling of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Son. We take the time, or the pastor teacher does, to go slow enough to allow us all to take notes. Some people do it on computer. I personally write everything out by hand. So if you're studying with us today, you may want to take a few minutes and you know get set up so that you're ready. We study using a system that we refer to as ICE, the letters I-C-E. The I stands for isagogics, which is when you study making sure that you understand the historical context of when it was written and who it was written to. C is for categorical, which means that the pastor teacher, if, if we're studying categorically, will pick a topic and we'll go through the Bible and find every place that it occurs so that you get a really good understanding of how a subject is treated in its entirety, which I find very helpful uh, personally. And E stands for exegesis, which is uh, basically the study of word etymology. You can find the original root meaning of the words and then you use this when the translation is pulled forward. The reason we do this is because the Bible was originally written in ancient Hebrew and ancient Greek. We use a lot of uh, technical vocabulary that may be new to you and if you hear a term or something that you don't understand, go to the website, the main website at www.isagogicfrog.com and there's a search engine at the top of the page. Just put the term in there and it'll o open up the documents. There's a a lot of PDFs, there's a lot of information on that site beyond what's in the videos of the actual class. Again, uh, the pastor teacher will be starting the class in just a moment, so get your coffee, uh, get set up, get ready to go. Uh, again, please know, I hope everybody out there is having a really blessed and hope-filled day.